Okay, so this time we've got some mini diffu uh, mini grids, honeycomb grids that fit into the mini beauty dish. Um, this is going to help us control the light that spreads out from the dish. Um, so first of all, I'm going to do a shot with the with the normal beauty dish with the diffuser on the front, um, and then we're going to take it out and see the difference that we get. Uh, with these. So let me put these down. Okay, so first of all I'm going to set up a shot without one in. Right, okay. And ready, one, two, three. Okay, that's great. Now this is a good example. Um, with that we're getting a slightly, we're not lighting the background anymore, we're just using this as our only light source and we can see that the background is like a, a medium sort of grey colour. We're getting quite a nice effect on the face. Um, you know, it's a really nice shot in general. Um, but we're just using this as a reference shot to see what difference that grid makes. So I'm now going to change the grid over. Let's just take this out. And then we're going to put the honeycomb, Just slot. it just slots in really easily like like that, that's it. Okay. Right now I'm going to do the same sort of shot. So Sarah, if you want to get into position again, that's great. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, let me just compare that. Okay, I need to just close my f-stop, one stop. And again, ready? One, two, three. Okay, that's great. So what we've got now is we've ended up with a much darker background than before and that's simply because the, the honeycomb grid on the front is controlling that light and stopping it from spreading around everywhere and it just gives the effect of having our background darker. Now the next thing that we're going to try is if we turn the two other lights on, I've put grids on those as well and we can see what effect they make. Okay, so that's the effect that we get with this grid. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add the other lights in at the back. Uh, we're going to do one at a time just to see the effect that they can give. Um, so this back light uh, we've, we're going to use as a hair light. Uh, we've got a grid on there and I'll turn it on and we can see the difference that we get with that. So let me just turn this on. Make sure it's on at the back. No, it's gone to sleep again. This is one of the problems with the, these new speed lights is they do turn themselves off if you don't use them after a few minutes. So you just have to check that they're on. And let's give that a go. I bet that's turned itself off now, hasn't it? Yep, <laughs> sure enough. Okay, right, let's give this a go. And ready, one, two, three. Okay, that's perfect. Yeah, that's given us a great hair light there. It's possibly a little bit bright. Uh, so I'm just gonna turn that down a little bit. Okay, let's try that again. And ready, one, two, three. Okay, that's great. And once again, one, two, three. Okay, so that's given us our hair light. Now, the next thing to do is turn on our, our backlight. We've, again, we've got the grid on the backlight. So instead of totally whiting out the whole area hopefully it's going to control it and give us a, a little bit of a glow so let me turn that on there we go that's working right so let's try that shot again Sarah okay ready and one two three okay that's, it's not charged yet okay let's try that again and one two three that's better. Okay. Let me just change my aperture and do one more of those. And one, two, three. Yeah, that's better. That's the right effect. We're, we're now sort of got a really nice glow in the background uh, caused by this. It's not, we've got grey at the bottom and it's got a really nice diffusion on that sort of central glow area. Uh, so it's, it's perfect. It just shows how versatile these things really are. Okay, so what we're going to look at this time is um, this little piece of kit here. 
it's quite interesting looking. Um, it's called a dome reflector. And what this is used for is uh, when you've got the flash on the camera similar to this, often if you take the shot straight on, you're going to get really harsh shadow in the background. Um, now, these are really useful for wedding and social photographers. Um, if you're in a room such as this where we've got quite a low pale coloured ceiling, uh, we can use this to bounce the light all around the room and create a much softer effect uh, with the flash than we get without it, basically. So what I'm going to do first is just do a quick shot without this on so that we can show what the, uh, what the comparison is like. So, so if I, let me just put this out way. If I just get a quick, if I just get a quick shot here. Ready, one, two, three. Okay, that's great. And as we can see, we're getting a very harsh shadow in the background. So let me just fit this piece of kit onto the camera, if I can. Oops, just slides, slides on like that, tighten it up. Okay, now what I'm going to do is just push it up at about 45 degrees and I just need to change my flash settings because obviously this, having this uh, diffuser on is going to lower the output of our flash so we need to just change our settings accordingly. Okay, so let's just do a test shot here and ready, one, two, three. Okay, just need to open my aperture one stop. And again, ready, one, two, three. Okay, that's perfect. We can see on this shot that compared to the other one, the shadow's really diffused, the light on her face is a lot softer. Um, and it's even added a bit, because we're bouncing off the ceiling, it's added a bit more of a golden glow to it because we're not getting the, the true colour temperature off the, off the flash itself. You know, we're obviously getting it coloured slightly from what's around it. So uh, that's a really pleasing effect and it's going to be a really useful tool for, for this type of room.